If I say I'm like you or another, I am the homunculus and the everyman and the little man in all of us. It's part of my investigation. Yes. yes. Say this blanket represents all the matter and energy in, in the universe, okay? You, me, everything. Nothing has been left out, all right? All the particles, everything. What's that side of this blanket? More blankets, that's the point. Blankets, everything. Exactly. This is everything, okay? Let's just say that this is me, right? And I'm, what, 60 odd years old, I'm wearing a gray suit, blah, blah, blah. And let's say over here, this is you, and you're, I don't know, you're 21, you've got dark hair, etc. And over here, this is uh, Vivian, my wife and colleague. And then over here, this is the Eiffel Tower, right? It's Paris. And this is a war. And this is a, a, a museum, and this is a disease, and this is an orgasm, and this is a hammer. Everything is the same, even if it's different. Exactly. That's my painting. That's what I do. Let's hang up this painting. Can you see it good enough? It's like a ship coming at you. Ooh. And this is where it goes into the wall. Everything is an orifice. <laughs> I think you don't know how to 
my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Down below, down below. Don't you worry if I disappear I told her I'm not really looking for another mistake I called an old friend thinking that the trouble would wait But then I jumped right in a week later Returned I reckon she was only looking for a lover to burn So starting from the beginning This is just a, uh, a casting class Where you make casts of like feet and arms and legs and shit You attach it together And you get this guy This homunculus figure And then he says no, because he was born months ago. It once had a name on a locker, so. And then this guy crawled up back to the page again and said, let's be illustrative, my friend, and went to Dr. Seuss in Afghanistan. And that is why he loves John Crow's art, because it's non-conventional, and it's exceptional, and it's very Leonardo da Vinci, sitting at a table like a ghost, the table of the Last Supper, caught in the painting, and zoomed out to where it really is. We're seeing the water, the jungle, 1942, Vietnam, what I imagine that must have looked like, being that I was never there before. But to me, that's the grass, and the fields, and the quarries. Oh, dude, sick, remember the quarries? It's the quarries, kid, and here's the ocean. And here's more snow in the wintertime in the streets. And the fence in the background and the stairs in the foreground go up to the triple-decker apartment, the lamppost in the corner. And the reflective glow of things marking the sun, the desert sky, and the fields of Afghanistan, and the waters cross to get there to the other sun, the black sun, and the god of Ra in the air behind you. Afghanistan, Judo, Kung Fu like Glenn Danzig in his skull. A crazy woman, Pink Panther, Pink Panther, with a buffant do, looking in his spectacle monocle, leaning backwards. His mouth is demon fire. Ashley Wood. Ashley Wood could. No. No. He's real. His arm is broken. He walks away, he crawls, and limps, afraid. Half a man, self-examined, like no before. That's how little I am. I'm an insignificant nobody. That's my arm. That's me. Against the desert background, see? It says American soldier.